Hi guys, welcome back to another video. A next question on arrays topic is cadence algorithm. The question states that given an array of n integers, find the contiguous subarray with maximum sum. The input contains three lines. The first line denotes the number of test cases. The second line denotes the number of elements in the array, and the third line contains the actual array elements. We need to print the maximum sum of contiguous subarray. Let's have a look at the example. In example 1, the size of the array is 5 and the array elements are 1, 2, 3, minus 2, 5. So if we consider the entire array and find the sum of each element, then we get the total sum as 9, which is the maximum sum of the subarray. So the output is 9 and the subarray is the array itself. Let's consider the second example where the size of the array is 4 and the array elements are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. Here we have minus 1 as the largest element among the 4 elements. So a subarray with maximum sum is minus. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider an example of an array of size 6 and the contents of the array are 3, 2, minus 2, 5, minus 4, 1. Let's declare two variables called Lmax and Gmax and initialize them with a of 0 or the first element of the array. Here Lmax and Gmax represent the local maximum and global maximum respectively. The right side of the screen shows the cadence algorithm which is used to find the maximum sum of subarray. So here we run a for loop from i is equal to 1 to n that is the initial value of i will be 1 and i points to 2. Next we check whether if a of i is greater than a of i plus Lmax that is we check whether if 2 is greater than 2 plus 3. Since 2 is less than 5, therefore we update the value of Lmax as Lmax is equal to Lmax plus A of i. That is the updated value of Lmax will be now 5. And since local maximum is greater than global maximum, therefore we also update the value of Gmax as 5 and increment i. Now i points to the value minus 2. And again we check whether if minus 2 is greater than minus 2 plus local max. That is we check whether if minus 2 is greater than 3. Since minus 2 is less than 3, therefore we update the value of local max as local max plus a of i. The value of a of i was minus 2, therefore the updated value of l max will be phi minus 2 which is 3. And since l max is not greater than g max, therefore g max remains as it is. And we increment i. Now i points to the value phi. And again we check whether if phi is greater than phi plus local max, that is we check whether if phi is greater than 8. Since phi is less than 8, therefore we again update the value of local max as L max is equal to L max plus A of i. That is the updated value of L max will be 8. And since local max is greater than global max, therefore we also update the value of G max as 8. And again increment i. Now i points to the value minus 4 and we check similarly whether if minus 4 is greater than 4. Since minus 4 is still less than 4. Therefore, again we update the value of local max as 8 minus 4, which is 4. And since L max is not greater than G max, therefore the value of G max is not updated. And we increment i again. Now i points to the last memory location or the value 1. And we check whether if 1 is greater than 1 plus 4, which is 1 is greater than 5. Since 1 is not greater than 5, Therefore, we update the value of local max as local max plus a of i, which is phi. And since here uh, local max is not greater than g max, therefore the value of g max remains as it is. So we have completed a for loop and we got the value of g max as 8, which is the subarray shown by red color. That is 3, 2, minus 2 and phi. So now we can begin with a code. Initially we declare a variable t which represents the number of test cases and then input the value t. Then we insert a while loop in order to accept input for each test case. Then for every test case we again declare another variable n which is the size of the array and then input the value of n. Next we declare an array of size n. and then accept the array elements. Next we declare two variables of type long int namely lmax 
and R max and initialize them with A of 0 or the first element of the array. Then we traverse the array from i is equal to 1 to n and at each traversal we check whether if a of i is greater than a of i plus local max. If so, then we update the value of local max as a of i. Else, we update the value of local max as a of i plus local max. And finally, if the value of L max is greater than G max, then we also update the value of G max as maximum of G max and L max. And finally, we print the value of G max, which is a global maximum. That is, the value G max will contain the maximum sum of subarray. So now we can compile a code to check whether it runs successfully. Okay, so I've got an error here. I think the error is because I wrote end instead of end l. So we can again compile the code. And this time a code is compiled successfully. So now we can submit it. And finally our code is submitted successfully. So if you found this video helpful, do hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparation. Thank you.